All right, guys, hello and welcome to another Sights and Sounds video here in Costa Rica. Today, we're gonna do Playa Flamingo, Playa Flamingo update. I think we've done a video on the beach here before, which is down that street right here. But then we saw this, and it was looking pretty new, and uh, we thought we'd check it out, so I'm glad we did. There's a really cool dune buggy. Remember to subscribe here on YouTube at Sights and Sounds. So, we just actually drove down this way, and there's a few condos that are being built down that way and there's an entrance to the marine and the guy uh, wouldn't let us walk along the marine. I guess you have to be a guest or um, an owner there perhaps. But we just thought we'd come check this out. I'm glad we did. So we asked the gentleman here about what's going on. So again, this is in Playa Flamingo in Guanacaste. There's a brand new marina here that we're gonna check out. And all of this is gonna be offices and shopping centers. And then above it's gonna be like a hotel. So uh, things for rent up there. So there's this you know, nice alcove you can walk into. It's really open concept, really nice. Everything's really nice finishes here. Okay. And uh, you can see it's still in a state of construction there. All the drywall is being finished, but apparently within the next three months, this will be finished. So now when you come out here, you can actually see people, this marina is operational now. So there's boats, there's all boats here. And we can see off in the distance there, um, Conchal. And then look at the size of this thing. Oh my goodness, that's a huge boat. It's just massive. Massive. I'm going to zoom in on that. And we're trying to, we're trying to ascertain who owns this boat. Apparently, apparently it's somebody who's English. That's it. We'll, we'll try to, we'll try to get some more information about that. That is a huge boat. They're like multi decks. I don't even know how many feet, how many feet long is that boat? Like, I mean, if you look at these little yachts over here, that would be like a what? a 30 footer so this would be like 10 of those maybe 300 foot like i don't even know i don't know boats very well but look at the view from here it's pretty cool you can see down along the footpath there there's a walking path and actually our last video that we just uploaded was the monkey trail so the monkey trail goes up around there and that's how you get to coco and um the shortcut over to that direction let's go check this out let's go down so again right now it's about um, August 2020, so perhaps in three months. Tres meses, abierto. So in three months, come check this out. That would be about in October. You can come check out the shopping here. Super cool. This is awesome. So I'm glad we stopped and checked this out so you can get you know a cool view. So if you rent something up there, you're gonna get a pristine view of the ocean all these really great views I'm, I'm certain all the shopping and all the restaurants that you're going to find in here are going to be super cool water's calm they did a really good job with the marina the last time we came through here this marina was barely under construction i mean they kind of had the the perimeter laid out but that was it so now you, you can see like you know all, how, how nice they've done all these finishes and even the dock you know this floating dock that goes throughout they did a really good job it's really nice which can be expected. I mean, Flamingo is pretty high end, right? You're between Portrero and Tamarindo. It's super close proximity to Tamarindo. It's maybe more tranquilo, you know? You can expect a bit more of that. So this road right here where the cars are driving, right up here, is actually the road that goes into Flamingo. So when you come across the little bridge there, you go up, and we're gonna go check that out too. Look at that boat one more time. Leave me a comment. You know whose boat that is? Leave a comment as an actor or something. Maybe some some royal person. I don't know. It's not my boat, that's for sure. How long is that thing too? Three, 200 feet? I, I, don't, I don't even know. It's a yacht. It's a yacht. Cool. All right, let's go check out that other place. And Playa Flamingo is right down there. So I'll zoom in and you can see how good that beach is. It's a really nice beach, really calm. We've done a video there before. Check that place out. Uh, Playa Flamingo is really nice. And then off in the distance, you can see all the rest of the white sand beaches. And that's why this area is so busy and popular, right? Because it's just nothing but uh, great beaches. And then actually, I believe Tamarindo is, if this mountain range here is on the other side. You got Playa Grande, Playa Tamarindo. But Playa Flamingo is pretty cool, but you can see, you know, it's not as busy as Tamarindo would be. And it's not as dicey, so I don't know if there's any surfing around here. Um, but certainly I can see down, I can see through the trees here on the video. There's certainly um, places where you can go snorkeling. So that's pretty cool. So 
There you go. There's the view. All right, all right, here we are, Playa Flamingo. Super nice, super busy, look at the white sand. Good stuff, good to see. We're here on a Sunday, it's not too busy. Super cool. That's where we just were, right up there, where were we? So that road goes along and you can see all the houses up there. So that's how you get to those houses and then those apartments are really nice. So that's where we just came from. And the marina is just on the other side of this on the Portrero side. So then on the other side here, we got the nicest beaches. People just chilling in the water. Wild waves aren't breaking too hard. It's a really nice, easy beach. Right now it does kind of, you know, turbo uh, suck at the front end while the water going out, but right outside where the waves are breaking, it's very calm. You can just swim there and float, so it's nice and easy. There's a restaurant right here, Coco Loco. And then all up in there, there's accommodation. So if you're looking for an Airbnb and it's on the end of Playa Flamingo, that's probably where you'll be. So you can see, and it's easily walking distance to the beach. And I can see people over on the rocks there. So that water right now, just from looking at it, I'm not gonna go and snorkel, but I presume that there's good snorkeling over there, anywhere where there's those uh, volcanic rocks. Usually there's good snorkeling. You can see little kids hanging out. And this beach is very long, so that road that we drove goes all parallel with the beach and there's lots of stuff there so thanks for joining us on this video here at Playa Flamingo in Guanacaste hope to see you soon here in Costa Rica check out sightsandsounds.co for a full written description of everything we talked about in this video some more information and subscribe to sights and sounds thanks for watching bye now